Hey everybody, welcome to another video of Microsoft Office Tutorials. In today's video, we are going to discuss 5 awesome tricks of Microsoft Excel. Hopefully, these tricks will help you a lot in your daily working on Excel. So let's start our first trick. Our first trick that we are going to discuss is quickly creation of duplicate sheet. Friends, as you know, whenever we need to create duplicate of any sheet, we just right click on tab of that sheet. We just go to the option move or copy. We select location wherever we want to create duplicate sheet. We just check this box, create a copy and then we go for OK. This is the normal method that we use to create duplicate sheet. So what is quick method to create duplicate sheet? Quick method to create duplicate sheet is first of all, we need to go to the sheet for which we want to create duplicate sheet. Let's say we want to create a duplicate sheet of this sheet 5 tricks. I will go to this sheet. I will just keep cursor of my mouse on sheet tab. I will press and hold control key. I will just press two times left button of my mouse and just I will pick, pick it up. You can see here this small black arrow. This will show wherever we will take our cursor. And wherever we want to create duplicate of our sheet, we will just drop it in there. Let's say I want to create duplicate sheet. Maybe here I will just drop it here and you can see here this is duplicate sheet of this sheet 5 tricks this is original sheet and this is the duplicate of this sheet 5 tricks so see how quick it is to create duplicate sheet I will just pick it up and I will just drop I will just pick it up and I will just drop how quickly I can create duplicate sheet and I can save a lot of my time our second trick is quickly move between sheets or to any specific sheet you can see here name of this sheet is trick 2. Let's say I want to move to the last sheet of this workbook and these three dots shows that there are more sheets on the right side. As I want to move to the last sheet of this workbook and last sheet will be on the right side, what I will do, the normal method to do this is I will come here and I will click on this right arrow. I will click till I reach to the last sheet. So I will click click and you can see here this is last, last sheet I will click on this and now I am in last sheet. So now let's say I want to move again to my original sheet. Name of that sheet was trick 2. How I will move? I will just click on this left arrow and I will just click 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 and I will also see here where is my that sheet. Name of that sheet is trick 2. I will just click 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 till I reach there. And you can see here now this is trick 2. I will just click on here and now I'm in my original sheet. This is the normal method that most of the people use. So what is quick method to move between sheets? The quick method to move between sheets uh, to move between sheets is I will just bring cursor off on my mouse between these two arrows. I will just right click and you can see here we have here a new window in which we have all sheets that we have here. So as I want to move to the last sheet, I will, one thing is I can just scroll down and I can just click on my last sheet. And the other thing that we can do, the best thing that we can do, I will say, uh, as you can see here, name of this sheet is starting with L. Name of this sheet is last sheet. And this is starting with L. What I will do, I will just, I will just right click here and then I will press L and this automatically come to this sheet I will press enter and now we are in this sheet last sheet and let's say we want, we want to move to the first sheet and what is name of first sheet this is starting with F and name is format painter what I will do I will quickly move to this sheet I will just right click here I will just press F and I will just press enter and now we are in our first sheet that name is format painter so this is see how quickly we can move between sheets or to any specific sheet for which we can we know what is name of that sheet our third trick is print comments and adders now I have here a sheet in which I have been created data for our third trick name of that sheet is comments and adders how I will quickly move to that sheet I will just right click here I will just press C and enter and now you can see we are in our sheet comments and adders now the thing is according to our third trick we can also print these comments and errors with our data so I will just press ctrl plus a to select my whole da data that I want to print I will go to the page layout I will just click on this small arrow and in this new window I will go to the sheet and here you can see we have here options to print comments and errors, errors also by default errors will be displayed 
to see comments also i will just click here i will select here we have two options at end of sheet as displayed on sheet so let's try as displayed on sheet so print pre preview and you can see here we will also be able to see these comments as these are in our sheet so i will go back let's try other options again to this small arrow sheet and here you can see at end of sheet and by adder we can also change this setting let's say we don't want to see adders so blank so print preview so let me show you you can see here now we don't have here any adder we cannot see adder here and for comments if we will go at last of this sheet and you can see here these comments at last page so for adders let's try another thing maybe maybe for adder we want to see maybe this line only so print pre print preview and you can see here now we have just this line we don't have error we don't have blank place we just have this line in place of headers and for comments these will be same at last page our fourth trick is multiple sheets data entry according to this trick we can record data on multiple sheets at same time no need to record same data on multiple sheets separately so let's see how we can do this here we have sample data of some students in our sheet students fee record and we have here three blank sheets now let's say we want to record our data from our first three columns in our these three sheets one two and three so how we can record this data from first three columns in these three blank sheets at same time so let's see how we can do we will just select these three columns we will just copy data from here we will go to the first blank sheet and then we will press and hold control key we will click on our second blank sheet we will click on our third blank sheet and you can see here these three sheets are selected at same time so what we will do we will just paste our data here we will just arrange it a little bit and we will just also maybe add some things maybe i will add here a heading maybe students data and maybe i will arrange a little bit more maybe i will also change this color maybe let's see this black color and maybe font color white and just now we have been recorded our data and you can see here our third sheets are selected now what i will do i will just press and hold control key again i will just click on second and third blank sheet and now you can see our first sheet we have been recorded our data and let's see same data is present on our second blank sheet and third blank sheet or no i will go to the second blank sheet and you can see here now we are in our second blank sheet and we have here same data i will go to the third blank sheet and you can see here we have same data in our third blank sheet so by this way we can record data on multiple sheets at same time the fifth trick is find and replace within whole workbook or excel file friends as you know by default we can find only within same sheet if i will press control plus f and if i want to find something maybe let's say i want to find this name so i will just select this i will just copy and i will just paste it here and find you can see here this is only one result that i can find from this sheet i by default i cannot find from whole workbook so to search from whole workbook what i will do i will go to the option and same thing for replace if i want to replace maybe this word you can see here this uh, word henna this spellings are there is mistake in these spellings so if i want to replace i can replace within this sheet i cannot replace within whole workbook so how we can change this we can go to the options and here you can see within from sheet we can go to the workbook now we can search and replace within whole workbook so now let's try again find all and you can see here here we have found many results within excel file this workbook you can see here one two three four five four five we have five results and there is also sheets this is students we record this is same sheet this is blank sheet and this is we have five results from five different sheets and if we want to correct these spellings what we will do and now we will write here correct spellings 
and we will go to the replace all and you can see here we have been replaced everything from whole workbook and by this way we can search from whole workbook and we can also replace any mistake from whole workbook so friends hope you like today's video if you think these tricks are useful don't forget to share this knowledge with your friends don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel microsoft office tutorials and also don't forget to give thumbs up thanks for watching bye bye